Well, this weekend I've had a rather unexpected and unwelcome visit by the Ignition Gremlins and um, it started with this bike that I've been uh, using recently still having a slight something not quite right about it occasionally the odd stammer and misfire especially after a few miles have been covered with the lights on and um, I decided as I was going a little bit further afield this time that perhaps I'd take something else. It was a lovely hot sunny day and I didn't want to end up pushing it so uh, getting off and wheeling it home so I thought well I don't quite trust my luck so uh, let's leave this one behind for now. So I turn my attention to this one which I've used in recent times and has run very well indeed. Um, no problem at all and in fact um, it had a very tough 47 mile day out where uh, over two thirds of that mileage was covered on uh, quite rough off-road uh, conditions and uh, I brought it back and uh, cleaned it down filled it up with fuel gave it an oil change had a couple of local rides and put it away so it'd be ready for the next time I went out with those guys on their more modern machines but I haven't used it uh, yet in uh, those circumstances but I decided yesterday I'd use it instead of the blue and white sports cub because I knew it was running well anyway after a lot of kicking kick kick kickity kick it finally fired up and ran for probably a second or so and stopped then there were loads more kicks and nothing then it started and I went to put it into gear to pull away for a try out up and down the lane and it stopped and it wouldn't go again and um, the upshot of it is is I have no sparks now this one has got an old uh, 12 volt electrical system with the old Xena diode and rectifier and all the things you're not supposed to have anymore and um, I recently added the 12 volt battery to it to improve the running immensely um, but we're still on points ignition so we've got a 12 volt points ignition on this one which at the moment for some reason isn't sparking and I, I suspect a loose or broken wire somewhere and I'm going to investigate but there's a very good chance that I'll probably be able to get to the bottom of it and find out what's wrong and get it going again. So anyway, that meant that this one was staying at home. And this one was also staying at home. So I thought, ah, I've dragged the BSA A65 out. That's going well. Everything works on that. It charges well. It's got electronic ignition. I'll use that one. And sure enough, I did my outbound journey about um, 17 or 18 miles or so everything went fine and uh, on the way back the first section of the journey went fine and then I noticed that there was a slight stammer setting in so I thought just in case I'll switch the lights off and that seemed to sort it and I thought great I'm probably going to get home but I made uh, my last stop to swap the camera battery and we already had misfiring again by then but the engine actually stalled I swapped the camera battery got started up again miraculously and managed to carry on on my way but um, the misfiring got worse and worse and eventually it seemed to manifest itself mainly after throttling off which made me think that perhaps um, the plugs were getting oiled or something but um, I took the plugs out later and found that they were quite clean and normal and dry looking actually so uh, that wasn't the case but um, whatever reason it decided that it was going to stop and let me down right at the bottom of a long hill which I ended up pushing it up and um, I had to find somewhere to leave it while I called for assistance and we came back later on I came with a box of tools and various replacement spark plugs and things like that and went through it and uh, I just got no sparks and uh, I also noticed that the magic box there got rather hot so I think that's probably frazzled so I can't fix that I might be able to get it going with another one of these maybe it will go maybe if I fit another one of these that'll go pop as well I really don't know it doesn't seem to be anything sort of out of order among the electrical connections and the way it's wired and all the lights and everything work and it charges and so on and I've done several hundred trouble free miles on it but that all happens very suddenly so I've got um, 
two of these bikes with points ignitions that I can very probably sort out just by uh, sort of being persistent and checking through things I think and that one I don't think it matters what I do to that now it's not going to go unless I replace at least that but I'm thinking more along the lines of actually replacing the entire ignition system and going back to points on it because um, if it had had points on it there's a very strong possibility that uh, even though I had to get my wife to come in the car and pick me up and we got some tools that rather than leaving the bike behind until I got a friend with a trailer to bring it home I'd have probably been able to get it going and rode it home and that's one of the reasons why I personally prefer points uh, there's a lot of people that uh, prefer electronic ignitions and uh, all well and good to them but I think we might just be seeing this BSA next time it's out and about running on points um, because I really don't want to be pushing this bike on a really hot sunny day up a steep hill again because that nearly killed me but um, watch this space and uh, we'll see how many runners we got by this time next week perhaps.